door. I got it. I got it. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Dead eye. Is he there? Can I hear him? Uh-oh. Oh, the beard is growing. The beard is him. growing on your neon. <laughs> Uh, can why it. can't we hear Dead Eye? He's still figuring it out. How about oh, now? there he is! Hey, 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 hey! Here we go, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. How are we? Hey. Um, heart's hey. pounding. I oh. thought it was gonna be late. Oh no! Right on time. Right on time. Yeah, I, literally, my setup is not even at my own home. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually at a friend's house. Uh, I got in a band like a couple of weeks back, and uh, my my friends and all that. Because uh, I think you was just talking about. Um, literally a minute ago you was, was on about like how how it's good to have this leadership and like uh, like a group and all that and stuff and you know i was just thinking like damn you know what i mean like i i know how that feels but then also i kind of know how that feels like real life like literally like i, I kind of feel like i'm taking over i'm sorry take it, <laughs> take it, take it. But, but the thing is like literally I, I felt like I was never going to stream again because I was screwed because I live in the middle of nowhere, Michigan and all that. And my friends gave me the opportunity to upgrade their internet for me to just stream. And here I am now, you know I me, mean? I can do all this. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, uh, talk about grateful. I mean, how, how, uh, what, what better friends are those, huh? Well, exactly. Yes, 100%. Uh, okay. And how long you been streaming there now? Um, I literally started last week. Here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. And that how long? Nice. How long do you think you're gonna have to be doing this for? Um, until um, me and my wife can finally find a house. Will the beard is grown enough. Without a loan <laughs> officer. Yes. Are I, we I, not? I, I shaved. I'm just trying to leave the stash. But it, well, we should not. We should enough. not shave the stash until you get a new house and new internet. How do we like, feel I, about that? I, I've always wanted to keep the stash. Huge <laughs> Doc disrespect fan. So I want okay, the stash. Really Okay. I'm with that, guys. I'm okay. Don't love I'm just going to keep streaming here until, yeah, until me and my wife get around home. <laughs> okay. Deadeye, how are you? How is everything? I'm doing good, brother. I haven't seen good. you since Gamers We Care, uh, the last uh, event. I haven't talked to you since then. How was the holiday season? Uh, I ate and drank probably more than I should have, but it was, uh, it was <laughs> good. Man. It was good. Filled with friends and family, family. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Friends and family, lots of family. Spent about three hours cooking steaks. So I can't complain, man. I cannot complain at all. <laughs> Anything you were grateful for, especially here this holiday season? The holiday season or the year? Well, the year. Let's take the year then. The year? At, yeah, yeah, yeah. There there was. Um, I'll spin a little story for you. I'll try not to take up too much time. Take as much time um, but as you I, I, I have a lucky disposition to where I count my blessings and I count them often. And it is because of, it is because of, uh, the journey that I've been on the tribulations, you know, uh, uh, I'm older, I've got grown kids. And so with age and, and, and hardships comes, uh, uh, comes experience and, and a better understanding of things. You know, when I was growing up, my, my dad, he was, you know, uh, alcoholic, things like that. He left when I was real young, when I was about two years old and, and I struggled with that my my whole life and i i went down a dark path i was on the wrong side of law um got arrested i went to jail you know um like i hope i never lose my hair and go bald because my head looks like a jigsaw puzzle i mean i i had some rough times uh when i was younger and i made i made a lot of uh a lot of serious mistakes that could have, I could be in a completely different place right now. Um, and, and through the years, you know, is when I turned 18 was when I had my first son and that changed the game for me. You know, now it wasn't just what I was doing. It was my son. And, you know, I've, I've, I've lived in cars. I've, I've slept on couches. You know, I've, I've dealt with loss and poverty and, and struggling to provide my kids with things, you know, when they were younger, you know, ramen noodles for dinner, you know, four nights a week type of stuff. And, and so it was, it was, it was extremely rough. And the best way I can describe it is I do a lot of survival camping. So I'll spend a lot of time out in the woods and, and a lot of the time it's hard to find food and you go like four days without finding something to eat, you get a cracker. It is the best thing that you've ate in your Mm -hmm. entire life. And I can compare that to, to my gratefulness and counting my blessings because 
I know what it's like on the other side. I know, you know, I have that comparison to make between, you know, yeah, they called me and I have to go and work on a Saturday. God, that sucks. That's a negative that automatically slaps you in the face when you hear something that you, that you're, that you don't like, or you're not happy with at that moment. But at the same time, I can flip that instantly and be like, but I have a job, you know, I'm, I'm able to provide for my family. So that going in on a Saturday doesn't, doesn't affect me that much. But this year was particularly, I was, ex- I, I had something slap me in the face and I believe I may have talked to you guys about this uh, personally after the event. Uh, I had something that, that hit me today or this year that was, was probably one of the things I am most grateful for in my entire life. I mean, I have a healthy family. I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, we're okay. We've got food, we've got a roof and all that. But the main thing is, is I was at an event I was at a company party with my oldest son, who was 21 years old, and we were sitting there. We were drinking some beers. We were laughing, you know. We were, and we, we were talking to each other, and it 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 just kind of hit me right then and there that that one of my greatest fears, one of the things that I've been worried about my entire life, was being like my father and abandoning my children. I realized that me sitting there with him as a grown adult, that I could never ever be like my father. That that's not a possibility anymore. That I couldn't. That 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 I have I have. I've passed that. I, I've been there for every one of his football games, for every one of his school events, for every every triumph and failure that that boy had. I was right there with him, and uh, and and that is something that, uh, to me, that was one of the things that I, I was I was so so grateful for the fact that that I had done it, you know, that like like you were saying a minute ago, pat yourself on the back. And I don't do that too often. I count my blessings often, but saying, you know, hey, you're you're killing it, dude. That was one of the times where I was just like, damn, you know, I've done this. I I have not I I didn't turn into my father. I'm not that guy. I am this guy. And I, I was extremely grateful for that. That if there's one word one word that you had to descri- uh, use to describe your childhood with your father, what would it be? Non-existent. Okay. And <laughs> yeah. And, and, and look what you did for your child, the complete yep. opposite that yep. you learned from the mistakes that were made all your, and, and you changed it and your son, your child will have no idea the life he could have had, the life he probably should have had, considering all you've went through. And, you know, he, he won't understand how grateful, but you do, and you know, and, and you're going to, you have afforded him that opportunity to, to not even have to ever worry about it again. And commendable goes beyond. You, you changed a life. You made a life, and, and you did it the right way. And that's something, you know, you know, that's something not many people can come out of what you did and, and to do what you did and down the line, man. I was I was so for years, I mean, for years from uh, as far back as I can remember up until I was an adult. I remember the the animosity and the hate that I had for my father for not being there. But there was there was a turning point where I realized that that had he been there then it, I, I might have become a different man. I might have become a worse man uh, with his influence around. So it's, it's one of those things that, you know, I, I've been listening and watching this entire time. And, and there's, there's, there's a song uh, by, by a group called Brown Bird. And the song is uh, Bilgewater. And there's a verse in that song that says, if the sun was always shining and our load was always light, we would crumble under any pressure that the world might apply. And that's just a poetic way of saying what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But that's 100% true. You know, when, when, when you have hardships and things like that, it, 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 makes you, it makes you tougher. It makes you able to handle those hardships when they come. And that's I'm not something too. that's... That, that's necessarily going to benefit you. But if you were able to deal with those hardships, because you already have, you've come through them on the other side and everybody will. And I know when people are, are in those hard periods, they think, you know, it's never going to end. I'm never going to get out of this. But when you come out on the other side, you have that experience to be able to deal with that personally and outwardly uh, to help other people in that situation. It's like Mizzy just most recently with this recent event, we were, we were having a conversation when, you know, the date had to get pushed back and there was some, there was some, some, issues going on mizzy had had kind of turned a corner and was like you know 
Mizzy worries all the time. She still does, even though she might say that she tries not to, but she worries all of the time. But she did get to a point where she was like, you know, I just, I just let it happen. And, and just being in the mindset that just because something that you didn't expect to happen doesn't default to it being bad opens your mind to be able to see the positive that can come out of it. Because yes. if you, if something bad happens and all you see is that bad, you've got that tunnel vision. You can't see anything but the bad. There's all these great things that are possibly just passing you by, but because you're just like, oh, this is so horrible. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. I don't know what's going to happen next. These things are just kind of just kind of going by you that, that are positives that can come directly from that negative. So, you know, if there's anything people need to know is, is there is always something good that's going to come from something bad in one way or another, whether it's not you getting a car crash and that keeps you from being in a bad position or, or being in something even worse down the road, you know, you get in a fender bender on your Monday or you have a flat tire, you never know that flat tire could have stopped you from getting broadsided by somebody running a stop sign, you know, or you get internet banned and, uh, you know, you're stuck. Uh, you got two phenomenal friends that you didn't realize were that phenomenal that mm-hmm. decided to <laughs> let you stream at their place and upgrade their exactly. internet while they're at it. Right. Neon. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. hundred percent. <laughs> okay. Neon, I got to ask you, my man. So I, I, I just have to assume that one of the things you're grateful for this year is to have a full pit of hair again. <laughs> Is that is that accurate? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh they grew back, right? It grew back S- up there. See, I'm so annoyed I couldn't make the other one because that's when like I got internet banned and a thing, and the stuff I was gonna do on that one was just gonna <laughs> step at the game. Like I was, like literally, I thought like the armpit stuff was like one thing, but I was literally gonna do like the whole armpit thing. I, I was gonna do the legs, and my new thing, what I was gonna do. What I'm going to probably do the next event was I was literally going to like dye my body like blue. What? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I was gonna dye my body blue. Yes. Um, oh, we so will do it, that. It'd be <laughs> funny. No, it'd right. be funny for the event, but after the event, it wouldn't be funny because it'd be <laughs> yes. about two weeks of me looking. You will like be smell. blue man. <laughs> oh and my then, goodness. Yeah, I was gonna go like bold. Okay, guys. And do so blue, you know what we would do so. the last next event. Yeah, I, don't, I, I always go above beyond. It, <laughs> yes. It's funny that you say that. It reminds me of me having like uh, like back in the days when Missy was still partying. Uh, we had like I was living with uh, four roommates, and we we were known in my city here for having like crazy parties, like once a year or twice, and <laughs> and we always had themes, and one theme was blue and green. And one of my roommates actually turned blue completely and was running half naked around the party, just blue, you know? It reminds <laughs> me of that. So that's actually great. Would, would like uh, yeah, that. Yeah, I'll probably re- reenact that for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's this half wait. naked British man just on stream, you know? When's the next oh, event church, now? Be When's careful. the next event? <laughs> it and, better and be sooner all- rather than later. End of March. We are planning the next charity event for end of March. So that will be. We can get him some pasties. It'll be fine. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, Nick. Oh, that's so fine. That's so. We're supposed to be doing a podcast here about gratefulness. I mean, hey, I guess I'm grateful to you too. I'm (laughs) grateful to you, Neon. You're going to be painting yourself blue in a couple months. So. Oh yeah, that's going to be bad. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, yeah. I um, I I, sorry, I don't know actually what you asked because I was gone at the beginning. I don't know what you asked, Neon. I didn't want to step in with the question when you already asked it. So. Uh, we actually just stepped in with Deadeye. Uh, he went over actually a, a large detail of his life and. Um, oh, so I mean, uh, what are you grateful for, Neon? I mean, you you had a lot of things going. You were moving to the US, you know. Yeah, we discussed right uh, away. I don't yeah, know this from. this year has been a lot, uh, a really really lot for me. But uh, the one thing I'm like most grateful for than anything, <laughs> right? And I probably know that they're all watching now is literally just my family, you know, my family, my friends, you know, my wife. Uh, as I said, you know, my friends who gave me the opportunity to stream here, Tim and Jackie, they're probably watching the stream now. You know, just having people like that around is just, that's what keeps me going every day. That makes sense. And just, just I don't know, just 
it's, it's been it's been a hell of a year it really has and you know i'm just grateful to have them people because if i didn't have them people i don't know how i could you know just keep going that makes sense you know like covid was not an- anything for me you know what i mean that wasn't the issue this whole year everything was just tough like for me moving to the states and all that it was you know it was good um but then also it was tough when did that happen when did you move in january january so january last year we're almost here a year now yeah okay so, but that was tough because mm-hmm. obviously when i went and all that you know it was it was my sisters you know my niece my mum, and my little brother you know and it, it was tough you know i mean to just obviously it was such a big commitment in general to move to the states but then also as well it was just tough that you know living there for like 23 years of my life mm-hmm. and you know kind of going in my big boy shoes you know in the big wide world mm-hmm. and i think and it, it was yeah it was tough you know what i mean and it, yeah it was just it's just been rough and all that you know everything you know trying to look for a house and i think you know i thought me and my wife we thought we literally thought we found our dream home and we we lost it. our loan officer like screwed us over it was the day the house was pending you know we saw it and we was like oh my god this is our house pending right now mm-hmm. we was over the moon and then our loan officer called us up and to go yeah you need to pay eight thousand dollars closing cost without telling us i'm like where did this come from so that was tough you know and it then was... you had to readjust and and where'd you go there then you you stayed home uh, or... We're still we're still with um, our mother-in-law right now, okay. And that's that's where I've been living since and all that. But you know, for me and my wife, you know, we're we're ready to, you know, start life and all that. You know, we're talking about like we're actually talking about adoption. And I think you know, once we're both like both on our feet, we've always been about adoption all the time. Like we have, we have like five dogs, like three of ours and two of my mother-in-laws, but they're all been basically kind of adopted you know i had a shit tzu called pippin funny enough i actually had a dog called pippin who was a shit tzu in the uk and all that who passed away a couple of years back and now i came here to basically the same shit tzu who's called pippin <laughs> so that that was just weird reincarnated and yeah but he he was kind of rescued you know my wife got him from uh you know shelter and all that and um, obviously growing up like crazy anxiety you know, we we have a, a dog, a Chihuahua, a Chihuahua, Chihuahua, oh, Chihuahua. Chihu- Chihuahua, yeah, Chihuahua. There we go, speech pendly. Um, called Pebbles, tiny, teeny, tiny dog. Like when I came in the first time, I was like, oh my god, I do not want to sit on her, anything like that. <laughs> teeny, tiny dog. My um, mom says always a dog has as has has um has to be as big so you don't have to go down to cuddle it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has like a bit of trust issues, especially towards me. She doesn't like me at all. Uh, it's because like um, my wife's grandpa and all that. He when he was getting old, he had like the crazy shakes and all that. So it just it kind of like took away that that trust for her. And then you know one one of my mother in law's dogs was a, a drop off. So obviously, you know, so she has like a lot of like stuff going on and we recently mm-hmm. adopted a dog not long ago, I think like, like six months ago, something like that. And um, called Duchess and she's a Pekingese. Um, she was badly abused, hugely abused. She was so scared. Like there's times she tried to close the door, she'll panic and all that. And then my, my mother-in-law, she bought a puppy who was mixed dachshund and Shih Tzu. Uh, she got she got this puppy because um, she was going for a divorce and a flat. You know she wants that comfort and everything. And I think she kind of realized how much a handful a puppy was. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she gave me the, and when I came out, I loved her instant. The first time I hold her, she pissed on me. And uh, I I Love don't know. I just, yeah, I, I just I just knew. I was like, she's claimed me. <laughs> she's really me, she's played me. and i've loved her ever since and yeah them little dogs uh help me out a lot they really well, have. i'm they sure it so you're we could say you're grateful for the dogs right <laughs> yeah i'm grateful yeah for my dogs my wife well, the dogs, my friends the dogs might be more grateful for him <laughs> yeah probably save them guys, from some horrible lives you, so i have to i have to go back to the topic here gratitude so both of you if you have to name three things you're grateful for in 2020 
Give me both three things you're grateful for in 2020. I would say my chat, family. Chat, you too. I want to see in the chat three things you're grateful for in 2020. Shoot. <laughs> I'll let Delay to start this. I, I would most certainly say, I would say my family. Um, I would say um, the community. The, the community circles that I run in, um, whether it's a Red Dead RP, whether it's a gamers community and what we do with the charity events um, or, it, you know, my personal my personal viewers, a community that hangs out with me in chat. And I would say the third thing is Baby Yoda. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I got Baby Yoda T-shirt. I have to show you. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Sorry, I just <laughs> I just got excited. That's OK. <laughs> so do you have three things Neon? um obviously family and friends um yeah the, one of the things about community uh the pink wigami Probably. uh amazing and all that how yeah just i think like especially like everything going on and all that it was great to have that community to you know kind of get escape but and also like even doing this to kind of tell people that you're not <laughs> on your own and people are there for you and all that and mm, exactly. i don't even know the third one really I, I guess just i think like i don't know i think like knowing like yesterday we we saw that like in our town someone actually had their house on fire on christmas day and you know they had they lost everything basically what what they came up with with is what they had, they had you know this woman had like four kids and i think so i think i'm grateful to like just have that roof over my head, but then also grateful that I can give back. You know, like me and my wife donated to the GoFundMe page, nothing to help them out. So I guess I'm, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to to give. That makes sense. So, yeah. Yeah, that's great. I love it. I love it. Um, do you guys like do anything like for like a um, uh, ex um practice gratitude in a way uh, in your life? Is that a thing for you guys or? I don't, I don't, I don't have like a set routine as far as, uh, as far as, as a gratitude, but you know, um, it, for me, it, again, I'm just, I, I'm really blessed in the fact that, that it comes, it comes easy to me to count my blessings. And I do that, you know, if I, if I'm driving, if I'm behind the wheel and, and I'm driving and, you know, I will get to thinking about things, my past, the future and, and gratefulness just always comes to me that I'm grateful for what I have right now. I might be on the, on the mower, you know, making another pass on the lawn and, you know, listening to music and my mind, my mind constantly wonders and it often serves circles back to to the blessings that I have currently you know regardless yeah. of what's going on you know there may be a hardship or something like that but it always it always comes around and I think of of you know uh, uh, what I have going that's good in my life and 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 what I'm thankful for so I'm just lucky in that aspect that I'm able to that 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 is something that that often surfaces in the forefront of my mind. And my wife, you know, she's a she's a big contributor to that. You know, if I if if there's some news or something happens where I'm like, God, this sucks or whatever, she she is the first one to answer back and be like, Yeah, that does suck, but look at it like this, you know. And yeah. so, hindsight window, right? Have you ever heard of hindsight window? Uh, to use it, uh huh. I, I love it. Like when the first time I heard about it, like a story about the hindsight when you, you know, like whenever something bad happens to you, um, like how to turn this around, you know, and, and use the hindsight when you basically to me to do, let's say, you know, you're on, a, on an airport and somebody steals your laptop, right? Well, it sucks, but it also means you can buy yourself a new laptop. <laughs> I mean, it's a, just, just a way of perspective. And the other thing, um, the other thing, when you when you were talking about your father, which came up into my mind, is um, another another story I came around is uh, it was a was two sisters actually, and one sister. I tried to tell it really quick, okay? So the story is about that. One sister uh, is in jail, drug abuse, name it. The other sister has a good life, good family, kids, whatever, good job, happy. So, and they asked both sisters, like, uh, um, um, you know, oh, okay, the other, the other part of the story is they both had an abusive father, okay? So, and they asked um, the sisters, like, you know, 
why is it that you know you in jail and why is it that you are happy and have this life and they both gave the same answer they said how could I turn out in another way I mean this is how I grew up with that father of course and for me the answer was to that like you said you know if your father would have been at home you know you probably turned out to be another person but I think Without knowing, you clearly made a choice. Um, the person you are now today, on one point or the other, you made a choice. You know, um, it doesn't matter who your father is and what he did or didn't do. You decided what kind of person you are. And I love that. Um, and I'm really grateful for meeting you, did I? <laughs> I, I it's incredible what happened the last... Um, I don't know how long. I mean, two years. I don't know. I can't even remember. I mean, so much happened the last month. So <laughs> it's been, it's been busy and, and almost two and years. You, Missy, you know, thankful for you because you know, um, uh, when I when I stepped away from Battlefield, you know, uh, you guys know I love casting. I love being behind the mic. I love uh, I love doing that. And you know, I stepped away from Battlefield, and I was kind of like, well, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll do some stuff here and there if I can, but whatnot. And, and, you know, you gave me the opportunity to, to get back into that, to commentating and, and, you know, interacting with, uh, with the community uh, during events and things like that. And, and I take great joy in that. I enjoy it. Can you, you know, please so. next time don't wear a suit. Um, I want to see next time you to choose. Okay. I'm, all right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll get, I'll get a, I'll get a sleeveless one. We'll get them all. We'll get them all. you right. Like okay. that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh damn! I never saw them before. I don't know why I never saw them before. Behind <laughs> them. Uh, Beard, we need a new question about gratitude. What time is it, by the way? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's been yeah. almost half an hour. It went way too quick. Five to five. What time did we start? I guess a half full, right? Oh, half. All right. Well, we got some time. We got some time. Yeah, some time. Yes, um, you mentioned, Mizzy, you know, it's a matter of perspective. Um, and, and then you brought up with Deadeye there how, you know, you made your own choice, Deadeye. Mm -hmm. um, Leo, I know you got to go for a walk. Are you going to have to wait? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Dad. And, <laughs> uh, but. You know, my, my parents were similar in that way. Now, my parents weren't abusive or alcoholics or anything like that, but they sure as hell hated each other. Um, and my mother would always tell me, this is not, you know, how you're supposed to have a marriage. This is not how it's supposed to be. So, you know, I've instead of, you know, she said, Jimmy, do the opposite. I can't show you what's right to do in a marriage, but... I can show you what's wrong to do in a marriage and you can take that and learn from it and not do those same mistakes that we've made. And I think that goes the same with you, Deadeye, and I'm sure Neon and, and very uh, similar aspects of your life as well. And I, it, I know. I yeah. Know. And, you know, again, it's all a matter of perspective. It's all a matter of how you look at things and, you know, enacting those, those steps of gratefulness that we talked about before, just taking a minute or two throughout your day and, and expressing it. It scientifically creates those, those less stressors where you're going to be less stressed and, you know, you'll see, I mean, it just does wonders. And um, I've become a better person since I've started with Gamers We Care. I know that for sure. And, um, I'm grateful having met you, Mizzy, obviously, Deadeye and Neon. I mean, you know, this has been just a remarkable experience and a remarkable journey and something I'll never forget. And that's something else, you know, probably something, you know, you guys like, do you, here's a question for you. 20 years from now, you look back on this journey right here, these past few years, you know, what are you going to think about? What are you going to, what, what's going to come to the top of your mind? Is it going to be the negative stuff or is it, what, what, is it going to be all the, the amazing things that's gone on uh neon you first well look so like 20 years ahead and then looking back um i think just kind of just looking at it and going like just being proud of like taking my own steps that makes sense uh when i was in the uk and all that was a very large mm -hmm. reason why i did come here and all that uh, i was very babied that makes sense and uh, it's just, it's a parent thing. I think everyone can understand that. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, they don't want to lose their kid or anything like that. You know, so they always like smother them and they think, and it's just like, mom, I need to spread my wings. And so I think I'm very glad that, you know, uh, 
you know, I, I'd, I'd done that and been taking my own steps and everything. And I, I think that 20 years down the line, when I have my own kids and all that, that I'm going to make sure that my kids take their own paths, but be also there as well to just in case they take them wrong paths and you can be like, you know, son, daughter, you know, like I've been there. I've, I've done that. Oopsie, I've done that and stuff, but you're going to learn from their mistakes. And I think, but I'm here for you to help you take that right path. Mm-hmm. And Dada, you'll be a, a grandfather, I guess, in, in maybe 20 yeah, years or at least close to it. Yeah, I appreciate Don't rub um, it in. <laughs> you know, uh, I think I think now now the you know, when you ask the question, you, you ask, you know, what, what are you going to look at the negative or, or the positive? Um, I, I'm a firm believer. It, you can't have one without the other, just like you can't have the light without the dark. I, and, and I think that's what allows me to be grateful and count my blessings is that I do, I do look at the negative when I go back, you know, like, like I was saying, you know, throughout the day when I'm thinking about something, I'll be thinking about my past and I'll be like, Oh my, you really did that as a human being. You know, you did that. That was you but that's not you, you know, you, you've come so much farther. So I think 20 years looking back, you know, I will, I will see both sides of the fence the negative and the positive, but I will, I will, I will derive the positive that came from each one of the negatives that I look at, you know, I'll say, I'll say, yeah, it sucked that this happened, but look at the opportunity it afforded me because that happened, you know? Yes. And so, so that's, that's, I think that's what I'll look back, you know, uh, 20 years from now is, is I'll kind of do it the same way that I do now, you know, cause when I look back at some of the things I did when I was younger that I'm not proud of, but they all, they all, they all molded me and, 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 and guided decisions that I made later on in life that really, that really not only just had a positive impact on my well being, but, but the people that I love and care about. Yeah, and that's 20 years from now, you know. Yeah, and I sit here I right now. I thought I should have a bid by then. <laughs> <laughs> not, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't Maybe 30. <laughs> you know what? And that's when we'll come in and wax it off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Grandpa Neon. Uh, we oh, should have oh. one stream 20 years from now where we all get on. Dead Eye, you can cast. True. Yeah. That's true. Uh, I'll do it. You know what I'll strikes me the most right now when you ask the question like 20 years now, now and if I want to remember what happened like 20 years ago, <laughs> um, and I had that before that I know, and I don't know if it's just me, but I, I can't remember much about what happened 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Like memories are gone so quickly. I, I feel, I mean, yes, I, I remember the, the drama stuff, you know, but I don't remember really I don't know. I remember was, a fair amount. Nothing really remember, happens in my what, life in that time, but I don't remember good stuff. I really what I rem- see. What I remember from twenty years ago was not was sitting in my house. Was I twelve? Probably sitting in my house playing Legos, building Legos. And I don't remember the process of building the Legos or or the effort it took or or the wrong blocks and all the mistakes I made along the way. But I remember that finished product. Okay, and I remember okay, all. The- I remember all I, well, I'm 32 now. So I remember all the work I put into it and then the, the end goal, the end result and um, you know, something. And that's what I look back at. I, I'm proud of myself that I built that. I don't remember all the trials and tribulations I went through. I know it was tough, but 20 years from now, if I look back on here and what we did here, I'm not going to remember all the, the headaches or the, the late nights or, or scrambling to get stuff done or the challenges and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to remember the success we had and I'm going to be grateful for it because I know all that hard work led to something great. And mm-hmm. um, the important thing, I think, is that, you know, Dead Eye made the connection there and it's making that connection into that next step. You have the option as a person, as an individual, to sit there and dwell on the past, on what was five years ago, and only look at the negative. Mm-hmm. Or you can see the good that came out of it. You may have been dumped by a girl, but you met a new girl, you, or, or this afforded you to move to a new place and, and explore a whole new life or have a whole new life. And that's the important thing is never just dwelling on the negative part, but the, the good that comes out of it yes. and that's mm-hmm. so incredibly important if you want to have a good life and if you want to be happy make that connection and see the good through the bad see the forest but, 
Well, a perfect example. So I'm, I'm 38, 20 years ago, I was 18. And that was, uh, that was the first time I went to a jail as an adult, aggravated assault, possession of firearm, possession of narcotics, all kinds of stuff. And, uh, and, and some of these marks on my face, on my nose, my eye, this red strawberry that's permanently on my neck was from that period when I was 18. Um, and those are all, and that was from jail. And those, those are all huge negatives. But at the same time, when I was 18 was when I had my first son. And that was when things really turned around for me as far as the way I looked at the world and the way I looked at, you know, uh, there was a life that I had to take care of. And it just changed. And it changed everything, you it's know, you, at that you, point. You went through that, you know, and you, you wanted to make sure that your son didn't go and take that same path, you know. <laughs> and you, you had an opportunity that I, you know, to you know, t show your son, you know, I mean, to like, you know, don't take the path I've done, you know, that's what I don't, I don't want to see you take that path. I've, I've been there and I don't want to see you do that, you know, and that's the thing, if you do, you know, because you've done that and all that, you know, once, once he's going to be a dad and all that, you know, he's going to say the same thing to his son, you know, and that was because of you. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? And that, that's sure it's an important thing. It's an important thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, as I always see, yeah, right, like I've never been a judge person. I think everyone's done bad stuff in the time. And I think, you know, you, you've done bad things, but you learn from them, you know, and you just, you build on that and you improve on that, you know. You can't regret them decisions because, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know. You can't get back on it. You just got to improve and be a better person. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what it's about. Yeah, that's what it's all about. <laughs> Uh oh, that's that's really great, guys. Thank you so much for sharing. By the way, also your stories you that I what? Ah, uh, you guys rock. I love you two guys. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, so much I've true. learned today about you guys. So I'm yeah. I'm really I'm really grateful for that actually. I know it's. Hey, I'm grateful for this. It, this really just shows that like you can meet people online and it can really really help you. Like sometimes I'm just like I don't even need to go to therapy. I just talk to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But the thing is, it's good though to do this though. Like I was literally saying, to like my, my wife and all that said, like this is so important to do stuff like this because there's people who can watch streams or watch this live stream right now and they think they're on their own. They think they're going through that. They think that they're the only person going through it, and it happens. People do feel like they are the only person. It really shows that you're not mm -hmm. the only person. And you know, I mean, and people like us are here to help you, you know, and it's, it's so important. It really is. It, it's interesting because um, it, it comes down for me again, it comes down to the thing, what I learned last year is that mental health, I looked at it always like, you know, certain people have mental health issues. But after this year, I learned actually we all have mental health issues. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just for one person it's smaller and for the other one it's bigger or it's more serious, it's less serious, whatever it is. But we all have it. Everyone and, su suffers with their demons, you know, I mean, it's just everyone yes. does them in different ways. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And um, I th but but the, the funny thing is as soon as I, well, you could say accepted the fact that it is like that, it also made it much easier um and i think if we can send the message like you know spread the word more around it like you know we all have that issue <laughs> um then maybe you know some people won't suffer that much anymore because they are reaching out quicker mm -hmm. um and they are willing maybe to help themselves also quicker because many times you know what that means is you have to put a lot of work on yourself and that hurts yeah. I think um, it also falls back to people feeling like they can, they can talk to to people like us and and gamers we care and know that they're not going to be judged. I think that I think that stops a lot of people from reaching out and talking to other people is because it's like, oh, what are they going to think or what are they going to say? And I think the message that that you have driven home with every event, Mizzy, is is that that's not the case with gamers community. That that look, you know, I mean, whether or not you were a criminal and you went to jail, whether or not you know you 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 had an abusive family whatever your history or problem may be nobody's going to judge you when you come to the gamers community um mm -hmm. whether it's just to hang out to to watch the streams to chat wh whatever it may be and i mm -hmm. think i think that's that's huge as well is is and, the fact and that's and that's so interesting because you said like charity like for me 
the charity events was never about, you know, that we reach the amount of money we reach at the end. For me, it was mo always, my the goal impact. was, yeah, could I impact actually people? Could I impact somebody within the community? Could I make somebody, could I make somebody stay that day? Um, and, and if I wouldn't have had that done, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't do this here. Like if, mm -hmm. if that wouldn't have worked the first time or what we are doing right now, we wouldn't be sitting here still. Um, and, and that's all, that always was my, my most concern. Like, um, could I actually have an impact with what we are doing here? Could we actually change somebody's life? Well, yeah, Missy, anybody, way, you know, anybody can give money to a charity. Exactly. You know? I mean, um, for that, nobody needs you know, me. <laughs> we're not, that, we're, yeah, we're not, we're not about that here. We're here to, 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 <laughs> I guess, to become another charity and it doesn't have to be money, but you know, it has to be impacting people's lives. Yeah. And, um, yeah. There's one thing I always say every time I start my stream and all that, I don't care that if I finish my stream, I make no money. I do not care. As long as I made one person smile, I've done my job. Mm -hmm. That's I say that to myself every single day. Yeah. And we, we need to, you know, there, what's sad is, you know, and not to bring it to a negative light, but, you know, there aren't people like that in the world. That's not true, everybody is yeah. like this, you know, and well, everyone's I, different. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's, you know, I think it's important and incumbent on us to, to change that, that mentality and, and show people that there is a better way, that there is a better light, just like Deadeye showed his son that there is a better way to do things and be better way to be a father. Um, you know, just like you showed your family a, a, of animals, um, you know, that there is better ways to take care of animals and, and, and better ways to treat yes. things. You know, we can take this out in the world, one person at a damn time, and we can slowly impact more and more people. And, um, you know, you can't fix the world, but uh, you know, I mean, as long as we try, that's what mm -hmm. matters. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever heard that story? There was this, uh, there was this little girl and she was running across the beach and she was, there was, there was thousands and thousands and thousands of starfish on the beach and she was scrambling, picking one up and throwing it into the ocean and, and grabbing another one, picking one up. And this, this guy comes up to her and she's like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to save these starfish. And she's like, uh, and, and the guy says, it says, yeah, but there's thousands of them. You know, it, it, it doesn't even matter. And she picked one up and she threw it into the ocean and she says it matters to that one. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. That's, that's a crazy example. Actually. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, yeah, and you can, <laughs> the funny thing is the story, like um, everyone knows it, right? If you talk to somebody, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this example right now. Okay. If you talk to somebody about politics, what's the most common answer? I don't care. I can't change anything anyways. And I think this kind of attitude um, or, or thinking or mindset, whatever you call it, I think that if you have this kind of mindset, you probably live with that, that kind of mindset your whole life with many things. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying you have to be political or anything. That's not my point. But it's more about how you how your view is at the world. Because mm -hmm. um, like, like, let's say you find some trash on the street, you know, are you the person who's picking it up? Because you have the chance, or are you wanting money? Because you know it doesn't matter. You know, every every life matters. You know, every piece of trash matters. Um, you know, and you have the choice. You, it's your choice whether you do something about it or not. And Mizzy, you made that choice two years ago. Um, yeah, and please don't get me wrong. I'm not perfect. You know, I have yeah. my faults too. I'm doing <coughs> stuff wrong too. I messed up a lot in my life. Of you know? course. Yeah. Um, but you, I'm just saying. You know, it's I, I have a. You, I'm what I'm saying too. It's not yeah, that I'm perfect. Nobody's <laughs> perfect. But you made that choice to, to, to impact somebody or to try to. And so, you know, sometimes it's just taking that first step. And you know, this is what's came of it. This GWC show, the GWC podcast, the GWC events, all the stuff. And actually, you, you did change lives. You did impact lives through the money that we've donated to charity, and then through all the 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 people viewing. Mm -hmm. 
the stream now and who have viewed the stream, that was your choice to go out there and start from nothing, to be nobody and say, no, I can make a difference. My vote does count. Whatever it is, it does matter and you can make a difference. And if you group up enough people together, you get this. You get 12, 13 people showing up for a podcast and we're going to continue to touch more and more people. And two mm -hmm. years from now, you look back here and what we've done the growth that we're going to have in two years is going to be astounding. And yes, you can. I'm glad you said, I'm glad you said a last sentence because it's we, I mean, I may have started this, but remember this guys, we are all sitting here together. You in the, the chat, you know, you, you're viewing, you're supporting this year. You're here, Neon, who is talking to me, Deadeye, who's hosting the charity. I mean, this is, this is a group work here. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I maybe have started this thing and I maybe do probably most of the work in the back end, but it doesn't matter at the end. What we create at the end, it's a product and many people come, you know, together to make this happen. There's no work. I in team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, thank you again, guys. I'm, I'm super grateful that you guys helped me to do this because it wouldn't be possible without you guys. It wouldn't be possible without you, any of you watching here right now, by the way. So thank you. Um, is welcome. there anything in, in point of um, gratitude or being grateful you guys want to um, put out there, Dead Eye or Neon? Like anything? You know, I'm just grateful going? that it's almost the end of the year, and I'm still here smiling. <laughs> That's what I'm grateful about. You also, I think uh, it, you also hit your max back, light goal, didn't you? Yeah. I was kind of happy about that. It was like my second day back or something. Yeah, I was super happy about that. But yeah, literally, that's, you know, it's just, I mean, everything's been going on. Like, for everyone's been dealing with so much BS and all that. But yeah, I'm, I'm just grateful I could just actually, you know, like, even when I finish the stream and all that, like, I, you know, me and my wife are over at my friend's house right now. The, the, you know, we're doing like a Christmas meal and all that, you know, and I'm going to go up there and just going to have that big smile, you know. And that's what I'm grateful about, really. Just, just to be happy, you know. Even uh, knowing all this, yeah. I'll say, uh, um, I've said a lot that I, that I, that I'm grateful for. What, what I'm going to say now is, I'm going to say, you know, I challenge everybody in chat, everybody watching this now, to to think about something that you're grateful for. I mean, and I can tell you right now, I can I can tell you it, it's a small thing, but every single person here in chat right now has either a cell or an internet connection they they've either got a phone in their hand or they're they're on a computer um they have that opportunity to be doing that right now one way or another uh, even in the darkest of times the fact that 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 you can recognize that something bad is happening means that you're breathing be yes. grateful for that you know yep. there 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 is always something that you can be grateful for and it's it's not always easy to see it's not always easy to recognize and 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 it can often be significantly downplayed or drowned it out by the amount of bad that is happening currently but at the end of the day there is always something to be grateful for and if you focus on that that just opens up the doors for for more positive things to to come in so um Yep. All I would right. just challenge everybody to to It's to it's think wonderful. Of Thank you for challenging everybody. I, I mean I'm if I don't want to go on everybody everyone's nerves. I would challenge you guys to do it like every night before you go to bed. Write five things down before you go to bed. And do it for three months and see if anything happens happens with you inside. If you want to join me on, on this challenge, I'm definitely doing it since yesterday. 